Hi, welcome to another Escort session. Today we have in a rehearsal place Nullburken. They played some songs from their new EP called Distressing Growth and we had a nice chat about their awesome gig in Skepufest last year and many more things. So please enjoy Nullburken. Just like butter 
for doing this it was really cool thanks for coming so i don't know if you can maybe start from the beginning how did you guys get started uh i think we get started like in 2019 uh we used to have band with uh rope a band called iskenders and uh, after that like broke the band uh rope asked like at you had some demos like something skate punk and then uh, yeah yeah i have i have a couple demos uh, a couple songs and then he asked it like at uh what you want to do with those like start a band or something and i answered like yeah why not it would be cool to play on <laughs> own songs in a band <laughs> so then me and rope <laughs> started like that rope rope actually started the whole thing about asking me those questions and uh then i asked riku and janne to play with us i have been uh, in a band called uh, expected boy with riku mm-hmm. and robe has been in a band rakas nikotus with janne but and did you all knew each other before or you just came together yeah actually we used to share a practice room like beforehand okay. like with the uh, rakas nikotus band mm. and with expected boy so therefore we knew each other and i would like to add that uh, these guys kind of uh, founded this band and then they asked me i guess it was paul's birthday party or something if you want to join to the practice place that evening and there's gonna be a beer <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be celebrating and uh, you just need to learn uh like wagons may 16 if you want to like try out <laughs> yeah. they convince you with the beer thing no? like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I, am, I am a beer man <laughs> <laughs> what were your influences like growing up of you guys like pretty much uh, skate punk and uh, like no effects uh propaganda mm. Southern surfers uh, I think that's basically my my background but Rob and Jan have different story yeah, mm. yeah I think uh, we sound like we aim for a uh, skate punk with a little bit of hardcore and maybe speed metal influences and that comes from uh, Riku and uh, Pauli are <coughs> like heavy skate punk listeners yeah. I don't really listen to skate punk I'm more of a like hardcore and metal head and we share the same uh, music interests with Janne yeah. and then we combine those and then we get this this sound which which sounds awesome yes. which it sounds Thank it's you. a really good combination so we may maybe try to aim for like 
a little bit between skate punk and uh, melodic mm. hardcore and me get some influences from uh, speed metal and hardcore moshes are coming <laughs> in the future future <laughs> songs maybe yeah great and you just released this year your second ep distress and growth um how did you record that ep uh i recorded that uh in our uh, parents cabin uh it was like one weekend we <laughs> were there and long weekend. long weekend we drink and and played stuff and record that and uh i wasn't happy about the <laughs> sound we got there so uh w i think me and janne played the guitars again i i did vocals three times before i was semi happy with them and uh then as as we are so do it yourself band uh, i mixed that uh r like ep and master it so you recorded everything like drums also in the cabin we went to the cabin and we aimed to record everything there <laughs> maybe maybe not the vocals but everything else but then we had palio and sauna <laughs> and uh, beer and then we ended up having like <laughs> good good drums and little bit of something else but th then it took a good year to make the <laughs> album after that yeah, one yeah. yeah we planned to record everything in there but uh when we got there we didn't even have all the lyrics for the songs mm. <laughs> so <laughs> we were just writing the lyrics you know on the go been there on, on those there. evenings <laughs> yeah <laughs> so but it was also fun well the result is really good so congratulations thanks and how does for you guys like um like the song process go like a normal song with you guys yeah i i, I like br bring some like riffs and then we like together like make it continue and like uh, i have some l l words or lyrics but not 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 all and rope and Riku are like big foundation of <laughs> our lyrics because they like finish what i have only like <laughs> bring something and they like do it better <laughs> yeah. uh, the ep has a really cool art cover art who who did it it's my fiance okay maria keinenen she is uh, doing some paintings and st stuff so well was she's really talented like yes i i think the cover was really really it's nice really nice and really really original you played this year for the first time in the skepu fest uh heard uh, a lot of people uh, saying really good things about the gig i was there also so i also so concur on their opinion but how was it for you guys like it was fucking amazing i uh, i can't remember much <laughs> of that gig but i i just uh, remember the feeling after the gig it was so so unreal and so cool and adrenaline you know all stuff like running and tiny bit of alcohol <laughs> 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 but very very happy to play there and thanks for Skipu Fest asking us there. And now just a small detour because, uh, well, you're actually uh, probably the second person who comes with their own made guitars mm -hmm. that you have your own, uh, well, you are Luthier, yeah, Martin Haig yeah. uh, guitars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if briefly, like, w like when did you start uh, like making guitars and? Uh, I built my first guitar when I was like 15 years old in a, a school like carpenter school and then I go to army and while while I was in the army uh, uh, some guy like approached me in Facebook and said like you know there is like this luthier school in Finland that you should join there and I was like really I didn't even know there was a school about luthier and then I applied there got in and studied the three years there and uh, then after graduation I started my own business and been doing guitars and basses and stuff now for five or six years. Uh, yeah, I graduated in 2017, so yeah, five years. Yes. I'll put the uh, link in the description to Martin Thanks. Heike guitar. So if anybody wants a guitar, <laughs> you can contact Paul. Yeah, actually, uh, Janne played with my guitar, but the yeah. guitar that I built and uh, Rope has a snare drum that I built. And Rico has also bass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his his bass is like. You're, so you're sponsored by <laughs> Martin Hickey guitars. Actually, it's my like third 
instrument that I built in the, the school. Yeah, in the school when I built that. I think uh, Pauli is sponsored by us <laughs> more, more <laughs> than he sponsors <laughs> <laughs> our band. <laughs> yes. Awesome, man. So, what are your future bands? I uh, plan. What are your future? <laughs> I'll do that again. What are your future plans with the band? Mm, I don't know. We haven't talked about that so much, but I would like to make uh, and play more gigs, make new music, and yeah, play many gigs. Yes. Not too many, yeah. but <laughs> what would be a gig for you guys that would be really, really awesome to play? Uh, with band. With band or, or venue. festival or venue? Mm, uh, I think Punk Rock Holiday would be the best place to be. <laughs> Been there like three times and it's one of my favorite festivals. Yes, you should. Yes, I think you guys should apply and try to get there because I'm sure they'll have you. And then last but not least, do you have, could you recommend a band and one of their songs that people could check out? Some band, some friends, some local band. Uh, since you ask a local band, the first that comes to mind is uh, a, a new band that shares nowadays the practice room also with us <laughs> in Ivinka. Yeah. So a band called Col Goliath, and their song uh, Aika Armahta is my favorite. <laughs> And I w would like to uh, c uh, name the band uh, Stray Away, which uh, I don't know how big band that is in, in Europe, but uh, I was uh, in a punk rock holiday and was like waiting for the, uh, returning the, like, the uh, card where is all the uh, cups, Deposit. yeah. deposits, yeah, yeah. And there was another guy waiting for the same thing. And then we started talking like, yeah, yeah, you got a band, I got a band, yeah. And we like uh, swapped the band names and then talk about more uh, like he's also uh, brewing beer uh, actually he was like I, I think he was brewing for the Lasco the like the yeah. local beer company and then we go to the after party and talk about more and and it was <laughs> a really great night <laughs> Thank you very much for this. I really wish you all the best uh, that you continue doing great music and hopefully play in Pop Rock Holiday one day and we'll see you around. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please go support Nurburken. I left links in the description so you can go stream their music and follow them in social media. And if you have a chance, please go see them live. Thanks again and see you in the next one.